Hi, I'm Olivia, and I am the Witch of Wonderlust here on YouTube and on Instagram. And today's video is about things that you can do at home to stay occupied. Yes, these are some strange times we're living in. Some uncomfortable times for sure. This is not a video that I'm going to cover any of these things that are going on in the world. I'm not going to cover information about the virus because I am not somebody who has authority to talk on this topic. There's so much misinformation that I probably have some of that misinformation and I am not about to use this platform to spread that misinformation. So I have left links down below if you want more information on that straight from the CDC, from the health department, and uh, Dr. Mike has actually made a few good informational videos, so check those down below. But this video is really just going to be me giving some ideas of what things you can do to stay occupied, to stay productive, to stay busy at home, especially you extroverts are probably going a little stir crazy. And for those of you who have watched my videos for a while, you know that I am pretty introverted by nature. I really like being alone. I like staying home. I don't really go out like ever. Um, the only time I really leave my home nowadays is to go teach class but now that the studio is closed due to the virus, I am working home full time. I know that in times of stress, our brains can kind of shut down that idea, that inspiration piece, and we kind of just go foggy. So these are just a few ideas. So this is for anybody and everybody. Naturally, these things are going to be moldable to your specific situation. Everybody's in a different situation, but let's get into it. So what are you gonna do with all this time while you're home? The first thing, and if you have followed my videos for a while, you will know that I suggest cleaning. <laughs> Great, Olivia, thanks for that. I know, uh, staying safe, staying healthy, staying clean, but also just organizing your space, your room, your apartment, your house. Organizing that space is going to make everything feel so much better. It's just psychologically proven that when you are in an organized space, your brain is able to organize your thoughts easier. Try to clean off the clutter on the tables, on the desks, on the floors, wherever it may be, and just put things away. Moving into that a little further, you can also Marie Kondo all of your items or all of your things. So you can go through your home, you can go through your bedroom, your bathroom, your kitchen, your clothes, whatever it is, all of your books or those old DVDs that maybe nobody actually uses anymore. Go through and see what you do and don't need. Now obviously you probably won't be able to go and drop these off at any of the donation centers right away, but at least you have that spring cleaning done and over with. Moving in further is rearrange your room or rearrange a room. Now, this might be weird to some people, but I remember when I was living with my parents, I used to rearrange my room like every year or so. And especially after moving from grade school to middle school and middle school to high school, I like rearranged my room because I, it was like my version of getting a new haircut or you know, like getting a whole new look or something. It was just kind of refreshing my space and having that that new feng shui. I don't know, I liked it. I kind of enjoyed tearing the room apart, putting it all back together, and then I also was able to organize clean and get rid of the things that I no longer used or needed at the same time. So maybe if that's something that sounds interesting to you, it takes a few hours, so you can definitely stay busy that way. Leading into that, cross off your to-do list. I know that I'm just telling you to adult, basically, but you have the time now, so taxes are coming up. If you have not done those yet, then I would highly suggest maybe hopping onto that. And even if you don't do them yourself, then you can definitely gather all of your information, put it in one spot, so when you do go to somebody to help you, you have all of those items and all of those documents present and ready so that you don't have to fumble through. Do your laundry, refresh your bed sheets, get those dishes done, you know, just clean up the house, get all your chores done just so that they're out of the way. We'll feel a lot better after they're done. Unfortunately, this is not a great time for jobs or job hunting. However, you can prep. So whenever that time may come, for any of you, you can definitely use this time to update your job resume, to polish it up, and make it look the best that it can look. This, I feel like, is pretty time consuming when I'm really trying to make sure that this job resume looks really good so that whenever I do get the chance to meet another employer for an interview or whatever, I am just ready to send that off or hand that off to them. Now going into more of the actual fun things. I'm sure you've seen this everywhere. Read your book. I, I know, I know that everybody has this book that is just chilling next to their nightstand, chilling on their bookshelf, and they've been waiting to read this book forever, and they're just like, I just don't have the time. 
but now you do. I have, I literally have a stack of like eight books that I'm halfway through that I haven't finished just because I am easily distracted, I guess. So all of those books I will be getting through and I will be making reviews on them. The next one is try doodling. Yeah, I get it. Uh, not Drawing isn't for everybody, but it is a different form of meditation. There are plenty of YouTube videos out there to spark some inspiration and to give you a little information on how to get started. And it, this does not mean that you need to find this really nice sketchbook and a really nice pen and hunker down and just like, bust out all these masterpieces. This could be literally a sticky note that you have or some printer paper and a random marker that your kid left on the floor. Pick it up, doodle, see what you got, and if you hate it, throw it away. It's, it's just a form of doing something, of creating something, of having all of that bent up energy that you have because you're just chilling at home and like putting it out onto something. Of course, that goes straight into journaling. Try journaling, try writing a poem, try writing a short story. You could even try doing this and coming up with your own Mad Libs and using it with friends or sending it to friends. Or just try art journaling. Take a picture or take some little scraps and try to stick them all together. So I'm gonna try to link a bunch of YouTubers down below that are under all of these categories of like art and journaling and all that jazz. There is a YouTuber called Nick the Booksmith. She does these really cool um, art journals where she just has all these scraps and whatnot. And her videos are so meditative to watch because she's just like this, she's just like that, that, that like crafty mom that sits down and does the crafts with you and chats with you and it's just wonderful. The next one is try a new DIY. I know that all of us have those like little DIY things that we saved from Facebook or on YouTube and we just kind of like put them in the watch laters list and never looked at them again. But if you have the supplies, if you have the means, check those out and see if you can try a little DIY. Even again, if you want to involve the kids with them. Try building a fort. Okay, I get it. Some of us are adults please. You are never too old to build a fort, okay? Building a fort is comforting. It's fun and it kind of brings out that childlike playfulness in all of us. Then, after you build a fort, why not turn it into a movie night? Grab all of your favorite movies or some of those movies that you have been meaning to watch, binge watch some Netflix, binge watch any of those shows on any of your streaming sites, and or go into that watch later playlist that all of us have on YouTube that we never get through and never go back to and binge watch some of your YouTubers. Another one is pick up that old hobby that you kind of left behind. Pick up your guitar, that instrument, maybe go back to crocheting or knitting. Maybe you did paint or doodle or write or draw all the time. Now, if you are living with other people, you can also bust out the board games. Those things are dusty. Those things do not get used enough, but why not bring them out? Even if they are missing a few pieces, you can always Always improvise and if you do live alone or if you don't live with people who are willing to play board games with you for some reason there are plenty of apps online that you can use to play with your friends online another one is research topics now I know this one kind of sounds weird but researching topics is a really good way to kind of get yourself ahead to prep for whatever comes after right so maybe you're prepping for a test maybe you're trying to get all your information into one place and then kind of plan what the next move is for you. Another one is get active. I know we're at home. I don't want to go to the gym right now. Believe me, I don't want to go to the gym right now. But staying active is really, really important. But there are also so many YouTube videos on stretches, on dances, on workouts, all that jazz that you can do all from home without any weights or any gear of any type. I will link those channels down below as well. There are even Instagram dance parties. An Instagrammer named Mark is holding. He is wonderful and just makes the day so good. So I will also link that down below as well. There's gonna be a lot of links down below. Another one is practice mindfulness or try taking up meditation. People are telling me you don't have time to meditate. I have too much to do. I can't pause for that amount of time. And honestly, start with two minutes. Start with five, work it up to 10. You can challenge yourself to do that or at least just stay mindful and stay present. You can even put active and meditation together and take a go at yoga. The next one is get outside. Now this one may be a little difficult for a few of you. Getting outside is so important. Getting fresh air, keep making sure that you're still seeing the sun every so often. Take your morning coffee out there, take your morning tea, or just hang out there and read your book. Hang out there and meditate. Get some fresh air, feel a little bit of the breeze, get some sun, hang out and stare at the moon. Now I know that this might be different depending on where you live. Um, 
if you are able to do these things. The last two are kind of opposites. A, you can enjoy disconnecting. Put your phone on do not disturb, have some you time. But on the flip side of that is utilize social media. Don't be actively panic checking the news. Don't be mindlessly scrolling through Instagram. Utilize social media to connect to friends, to connect to family, to check up on them, and to make sure that you guys are still able to communicate. That's the beautiful thing about today is that even though we are confined to our homes, we are still able to interact with our community. So uh, that being said, that's going to be my wrap up for this video. I hope that you enjoyed. I hope that those gave you a little bit of inspiration on maybe what to do with some of your time at home. There are two Discord servers that are available that is a wonderful community. We welcome anybody, so even if you are not witchy at all, we're totally fine with that and we welcome you. And I will link those down below as well. Leave a like, that is the easiest way to support me. You can comment down below if you have any other ideas for those of us out there that are chilling at home for quite some time. And that's about it. But I just, I wanted to make a video. Um, I just feel like as YouTubers, as a YouTuber, it's almost like our duty to YouTube and do the thing that we're good at, but try to keep everybody's spirits high and keep everybody in entertained. And this is, this is kind of what our job is for, right? To keep communities together and to, uh, yeah. Okay, this is why I'm an introvert. All right, well that is all for this video. I hope that you enjoyed. I will be making other videos that are a little different than my usual content, so stick around. And uh, if you do enjoy my videos, then hit that notification bell because YouTube is bad at telling you when I upload and if you want to know. So I think that's all. But until next time, uh, as always, thanks for watching. Best of luck, be kind to each other, and may your gods treat you as you've treated others. Bye.